Welcome everyone. We are uh, starting a Kriya this week called Yoga for Detoxification. So we, it's just so important to constantly detoxify. Um, sometimes just even, well we're obviously we usually think of detoxifying um, our bodies because we've eaten the wrong things or been drinking the wrong things. But it's just as, as important to be de detoxifying your mind. It's just a whole process of just letting go uh, and letting, instead of, of just accumulating too much stuff physically and mentally or emotionally, we're just always clearing. And that's really what the focus of the yoga is this week, is just trying to clear, lighten, lightening up the body and the mind and helping you feel really good about yourself. So really looking forward to doing this with you. So let's start off. We're lying down on the floor. This is a really easy one to begin with. This is a nice way if you're doing this in the morning to start your day. You're lying down on the floor and all you're doing is um, you've got your heels attached, sides of the feet together. You drop the feet to the sides and then you sort of bring the soles, the sides of the feet together. Drop them to the side and bring them together. Wait, I'll show you a close up so it's kind of dropping them to the side and then close together. Dropping and close. That's all you're doing. Inhale, exhale. Kind of wakening up your ankles. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Feel your tummy muscles breathe in. Expand as you breathe in, contract as you breathe out. This helps bring a lot of oxygen into your body, energizing. next bit's a little bit harder you're bringing your um, hands behind your head keeping your head down on the floor and I would start off bending your knees to get the lower back really flat stretch the legs out and, and you're crisscrossing with breath of fire so, so you're exhaling each time your legs cross and then inhaling them apart the legs are, are quite low you don't want them too high mine are maybe a little bit high you want them to be at about 30 degrees off the floor now, if that's hard, just keep bringing your feet down, flattening the lower back. Keep the lower back flat. That's the most important thing. Stretch the legs out and try crisscrossing again. The best thing to do for this is keep trying and just keep resting. A couple more and, and, and rest. Your tummy muscles are getting stronger. You want to keep the lower back flat so it's not arching. Let's just do a little bit more. Exhale, exhale. Good, nice, long, lean tummy muscles. Wonderful. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And you'll often feel it here in the tops of the legs. This is the hip flexors and they just always, your core muscles want to cheat. <laughs> and uh, they'll try and find an easy way, easier way of, of working than using them. So anyway, just rest. If the, if the legs start getting sore, just rest. So let's see. Now we're coming up into like a little baby cobra pose. And just let your 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 body relax here for a, for a little bit. And um, for this, we're going to be breathing in and out through the mouth for a change. So the mouth's open. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows into the side. Inhale. Breathe in as you stretch up, and breathe out as you come down. Inhale. Up through the mouth. Drop the head back. Exhale. Inhale. Very good, and then flipping over onto your back. Now, for this one, we've got our knees are knees are in, arms are straight up, so you're reaching your fingertips up towards the ceiling. And then we're just going to inhale and then exhale, lower the hands down, stretch the legs out and lower them down. Exhale, knees up to the chest, hands up. Inhale, stretch everything out. Exhale up, inhale out. So exhale, bring the knees of the chest, inhale, stretch them out. So let's do about five more of those. Obviously, 
obviously using the tummy muscles uh, helps with the detoxing process. Strong, when your, st your stomach is nice and strong, it's also good for your digestion. You're getting the circulation moving on all the organs. Okay, good. One more time. Okay, and then coming up to sitting. No. For this one, I like to just sit without using any kind of pillows or anything. Just sitting cross like it. Well done, everybody. So, hands are on your knees, and we're just going to slowly circle around, thinking about waking up getting everything moving in your core. So it's counterclockwise, so this is, if you imagine you've got a clock face in front of you and it's going that way, it's, it's clockwise, you're trying to go the opposite way round. So, this is also really good for just listening up tight hips. Good. Right. And just adapt it, if you, you know, everyone's different, some people have got tighter hips than others. This is a good one to do though because it does help if you, if you're finding that your knees are up like this and you're really struggling just start off small and you will get there and we're all we're all made different which makes us all interesting okay now coming up from here we're going to move um this is called crow pose or squats so our, our feet are flat and, and kind of wide apart you want to try and keep the heels down as we squat down and the hands stay wrapped around your ankles so squatting down inhale exhale down it's any easier if I show you from the side straighten the legs and bend the legs I'll do about 10 of these drop the head down it's always good just to drop the head down in between because it helps relax our neck muscles if you're a really busy person on the go all the time, you're always thinking, you're planning ahead, you're not really switching off, and sometimes that's an indication the neck muscles get really tight, and the neck muscles forget how to relax, because you're kind of always in control. So it's good when you're doing like these forward bends to just drop the head, make sure there's no tension, and you're not controlling your head as you're dropping the head down. Let's do three more. If your hands don't reach your ankles, that's fine. Just holding onto the shins is good too. That thing. Right, I think that's enough. No, where were we? So I'm just going to grab my pillow for this part. Almost finished. That's all the hard work done. So the the next part is we're just sitting comfortably like this, and we are going to use a mantra. And we're going to say the word Satnam six times. So I count three times on one hand and three times on the other. So this is like a, a meditation. We use the, the word Satnam just maybe means honouring yourself, which is what your yoga practice is. Honouring your path, following your path in life, and making the right decisions that suit you and your path and, and everyone around you. So it's Satnam, 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 Wahe Guru. And Wahe Guru is an exclamation of how incredible life is, how wonderful, um, extraordinary, wow, kind of thing. So let's go. Eyes are closed, looking in third eye point, and you're just switching off for the next couple of minutes. This is a meditation. So Satnam, 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 Wahi Guru. Satnam, 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 Wahi Guru. Satnam, 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 Wahi Guru. Satnam, 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 Satnam. Wahiguru. Satnam 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 Wahiguru.
gonna just stretch up really tall. Good, and then relax and come down to the floor and relax. And you can keep using that mantra in your mind as you come into relaxation now. Get your lower back nice and flat on the floor. Stretch the legs out, push your shoulders down away from your ears. And now just continue with the mantra in your mind. And with, it, with every round, just let your body feel more heavy, more relaxed. Just giving yourself a little bit of time out for yourself. Little yoga snooze. <laughs>